Hello everyone, welcome back to Pascal's Kitchen. Today is all about appetizers. I don't know about you, but I'm not a huge fan of making tons and tons of fiddly appetizers. I like things that are super simple and quick to make. And today I'm going to put together a big board, an appetizer board of three different appetizers that are a snap to make and absolutely delicious and healthy too. So the first one involves really no cooking. Basically, you're going to clean radishes. And in France, these breakfast radishes, they're not called breakfast radishes in France, you just um, clean them, leave, if the greens look pretty as these do, then leave those because that's a great way to be able to just pick up the radish. And you serve it with some coarse sea salt, some butter and a baguette. And the way to eat it is to just dip the radish in the salt, bite the radish and have a little butter um, on the baguette and have a bite of that too. It's absolutely fantastic. These peppery radishes with the salt, it's just magical with the creaminess of the butter and the baguette. So you can arrange a plate like this and put that on the board. It takes two minutes, it's wonderful. We'll do that one first. The next thing we're going to make are some wrapped asparagus. And these are asparagus that are wrapped in smoked salmon and they are from my salad book. We're going to get set up and start those in just a second. So for the second appetizer, which is asparagus with smoked salmon, all you need to do is either steam the asparagus or roast them. In this case, I have roasted them. And I just place the asparagus on a sheet pan with a little drizzle of olive oil and at 325 and cook them for about 10 minutes with some salt and pepper. And as soon as they're done, take them out of the oven and just let them cool on the sheet pan because you want to be able to pick this up so that you can roll it in the smoked salmon. And it's as simple as that. So the cooked asparagus and a little piece of the smoked salmon. And you can do this on the sheet pan if you want to. And just roll the salmon around the, sam around the asparagus stalk. And then I like to place these on the board. This gets served with a mustard vinaigrette. And <clears throat> what you can then do is drizzle the vinaigrette over the asparagus stalks. Or if you prefer, you can just have people dip their asparagus into the vinaigrette as they're eating it. I'll just finish doing these and I'll show you how to make the vinaigrette. So I finished the asparagus with salmon rolls and now I'm just going to make the vinaigrette that people can dip in there. This is just delicious finger food. Really easy and yummy. So here I have a walnut mustard. You can use a regular Dijon mustard if you can't find the nut mustard. It adds a little little extra dimension to it but Dijon is just fine. So a tablespoon of mustard in here with about three tablespoons of olive oil and pour that in there plus a tablespoon of vinegar and this is a pear champagne vinegar. Absolutely oh, it's divine. Okay whisk all of this together. I love using this little whisk it just makes it very easy to all come together until it forms an emulsion. And then, once you have that done, we can add a little bit of pepper and a pinch of salt. And then people can just dip the ends of the asparagus spheres into the vinaigrette. There we go. That's that. So the last thing we're going to make is a stuffed endive, endive, Belgian endive, with some smoked salmon. And so there's a, everything ties together with some fennel and some fresh herbs. And they just get filled up in the endive boats. It's a dish that comes from my vegetable cookbook, Les Legumes, there it is. And all the recipes for all of these appetizers will be found in the link below. Let's get started on the Belgian endive. So for the last appetizer, we're going to make these stuffed endive boats and they're filled with a mixture of creme fraiche and Greek yogurt and smoked salmon. And here are the ingredients. Here I have two ounces of creme fraiche plus one tablespoon, sort of heap tablespoon of Greek yogurt. If you can't find creme fraiche, 
just use only Greek yogurt, it'll work fine. There's four ounces of smoked salmon that's been chopped into little pieces, two ounces of fennel, some chopped chives, dill and lemon juice. And we're going to mix all of this together in the bowl and then fill each of the endive boats. So I'll just pop the salmon in here and the fennel, the dill and the chives. Add the lemon juice and then some olive oil. And this is lemon olive oil. You can use regular olive oil too. About a tablespoon of the olive oil. And mix that all together. It's really, really yummy. This actually is fantastic on toast too. If you want to have all the baguette. So mix this all up. And then these are the perfect receptacle. Aren't they great for finger food? And just put a little bit in the middle of each one. So keep filling up your board until everything is covered and arranged in a pretty pattern. And this is the perfect, healthy, healthy appetizer board and easy to make finger food. Remember the recipes are in the link below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Pascal's Kitchen cooking channel. Bon appétit!